Hello, is Helen there? Speaking. Hello, this is RJ Bates calling about your property there on Haystack Way. You had entered this on my website saying that you're interested in selling that property. Is that well, correct? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I wanted to talk to you about the property to see uh, what you got going on there. Um, let me get this pulled up real quick. Did you have an asking price in mind for the property? You know, I don't like that. I mean, I, I mean, anybody can look at Zillow and look at the current comps and look at the real estate agent. I'm, I actually, I'm thinking I'm going to probably wait till time anyway. I have, I've had the same tenor for four years. I'm just retired. So, lightning the most. Right. Okay. Did you say you, you don't like me asking how much you wanted for the property? Well, I want, you know, what the internet says. What the say. I'm not going to put a price out there. That, that's, that's I'm just a real estate broker. I don't, I don't like that. I'm not going to tell you what the price Doesn't every real estate broker literally, when they list the property, put a price on the market? Uh, okay, 360. How's that? Okay, something to look at. Seems a little bit high, but uh, we can look into it. Uh, I mean, you're calling from. <laughs> I'm calling from where? That's right. I live in Texas. Right. So you, you know what they say? Real estate is local, baby. Listen, this is all too premature. Uh, uh, I, I'm not. I'm gonna. Uh, Real estate's local. I've never heard that before. Uh, is that is that something that they teach in broker school? <laughs> oh, holy shit! I miss the days of 2020 where I got to do that 25 times a day. She said, I'm a broker. I don't play this game. Sweetheart, that's literally the game that every realtor fucking plays. You list properties on the MLS with a fucking number on there called the asking price. Thank God she went to two weeks of school and got a license. Has anyone ever heard the phrase that real estate is all local? Because I don't think I've ever heard that before. Maybe it's just because I, I didn't want to hear it because I definitely don't do local real estate. But have you even heard that phrase? I'm assuming by Jeremy's laugh emoji, he has not heard that. That makes sense. Hello. Hi, is Hattie there? No, this is my daughter. How can I help you? Uh, my name's RJ Bates, and uh, Hattie had entered her property here on 13th Street on my website saying that she might be interested in selling that property. So I was just giving her a call to see if we could talk about it. You would talk to me. Awesome. I entered it. I got you. Well, um, how much are y'all looking to get for that property? Uh, we're looking to get 110. Okay. Oh, well, I think I put in 105. 105. I like that number better. <laughs> um. Tell me a little bit about the property. What you got going on there? My aunt used to live there. Um, she recently moved out. It is a two, I think it's, it's two units. So it's nine five two and nine five four. Um, it used to be three units, but 
it was something happened and when they rebuilt it and now it's just two units a long time ago. 952 and 954. Um, it does need some updating. And I do know that. And that's about it. I think it's two bedrooms um, and two bathrooms. Gotcha. And both units are vacant, correct? Yes. All right. And the water runs and the electric on and all of that. All right. Do you know, because of what I pulled up, 952 says that it's just south of 1,300 square feet. Is that including both sides? I don't think so. Because 952 and 954, yeah, they're two Units, yeah. All right, let me pull up a picture of this. Yeah, but I mean, just looking at the building, I mean, that feels, yeah, that feels like it's a 1,300 square foot building. So it's like, okay, that makes sense if it's like 600 something square foot on each side. Okay, um, okay. I'm not going to argue with you there. I haven't been there in a long time. Yeah. Um, so you said it needs work. Is that just like because the the people that were living there moved out and just needs a turnover, like a cleanup, or is it like gutted down to the studs? Oh, it's not gutted down to the studs. It needs a little uh, some upgrading. You know, there's a little minor maintenance. There's a back door that might need to be replaced. There is a um, some my mom was trying to do some molding work there. You know to upgrade it, but she didn't finish. Um, no, but it's not good. No, it's not good. I got you. My, like I said, my aunt, she recently moved in the last month and a half, two months. I'm um, out of it. She moved in June, so yeah, we're going on two months. All right, give me just a second to look around here. Sure, sure, sure. Has there ever been a tenant in one of the sides? Yeah, there was a tenant in um, each side, yes. Gotcha. And, and, yeah. Do you know how much they were paying in rent? <laughs> My mom owned it, and she was being very generous. One was paying um, 300 and the other one was paying five. I got you. And I agree. That is very generous. I think it could, it could have definitely gotten more than that. Yeah, she's been very generous for years. This went on for several years. My mom will be signing the contract. I'm just the one looking for a buyer. I got you. That's a that's actually a fairly common <laughs> setup. You know, hey, you. You deal with this, and I'll just do whatever you tell me to do, especially once it gets to something like this where it's like, hey, I need to sell this. Um, are, do you have any idea what is to the right of the property? There's a fence with, like, all kinds of junk in it. Do you know what that is? No, and that might be a very old picture. Um, I can... I'm not, no, I'm not familiar with any of that, but I can definitely inquire to, with my aunt. Um, it's Google Street. It says December of 2022 is when it was taken. It looks okay. like it's got to be like the neighbor right there on the corner. It might be. It looks like know. they've got like cars and all kinds of stuff in there. Um, yeah, I'm not feel like I'm pretty close to the 105. Um, so the way it works with us is, is that, you know, we're cash. There's no realtor commissions. We cover the closing costs. So pretty much, is there a mortgage on the property or is it free and clear? Free and clear. So pretty much the only thing that would come out of whatever I can offer you would be prorated property taxes. And if there's any liens that pop up during the title search. Everything else is pretty yeah. much net to you guys. Um, gotcha. Um, so what I need to figure out here is is exactly what I can do. If you 
give me just a couple minutes, I could give you a, an offer here. Okay, that's fine. Part of the problem is, is there's not any other duplexes around there that have sold. Um, everything is a single family. And I'm assuming you guys are, are okay with closing as quickly as possible, right? Of course, yeah. Yeah. Let me look at one last thing and then I'll should be good So based off of what I'm seeing here, I think I'm gonna need to be. I think I'm gonna be around ninety thousand, to be honest with you. Okay. So it's a little bit lower than what you guys were asking. Um, it's mainly just taking into consideration the the cash flow on the property on the back side in comparison to what some of the other properties have gone for. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's, there's nothing coming out of that. You know, it's just, that's a, a straight cash number to you guys. Okay. And you couldn't do 95. I bet you if you twisted my arm hard enough and, uh, I bet you I could, <laughs> I'm not going to lie with you. I mean, I don't like I don't like arguing over, you know, a couple grand on an opportunity and also, you know, in your case, something that you need to get rid of. So uh, here, here's the thing, though. I will say this. More often than not, my number is an accurate number. And so when I say I can do 90, we come out, we come look at the property, we get our contractors out there and we put together all of our numbers and then we say, yep, we're good at this number. Or we say, hey, no, it's in worse condition than what we thought. This is where we need to be. You either say, yeah, we'll take it or no, you know, get out of here. You're crazy. Um, okay. the only, I mean, so I can say 95 today. Just don't be surprised if we come back in a week and say, hey, we really need to be at 90. Look at the well, it's it's vacant, right? I mean, is there yeah. access? Is there like a lot box for us to be able to go out there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well then, yeah. I mean, as soon as you sign a contract, pretty much the next day we'll be out there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't want to drag it out any more than, uh, than you do. You know what I'm saying? We only make money when we buy properties, and you're only going to make money when you sell the property, so... Okay, and the contract is 
contingent on the viewing of the property. Yeah, essentially there's an inspection period um, on there. So, uh, but there's an open line of communication. So, you know, we pretty much tell you what's going on throughout the process. We're, we're not going to drag it out or anything like that. We're going to go out there, essentially have our contractors walk in. We're going to get pictures, um, put together our, our, our bids and run the numbers and see where we need to be. And uh, the whole time you have a point of contact here at, at the office where you know what's going on. Simultaneous with us also opening title. So once we're done, then we can get it closed as quickly as possible. Okay. And do you, and do you have my email address? Um, I think so. I Okay. So you, let me just verify real quick. The property is in Hattie's name, but you want me to send it to you because then you'll take it to her and say, hey, Correct. this is what we're doing. And uh, okay. So that's what I'll do. I'll send it over to you for the 95. Um, and like I said, we'll just, we'll let you know once we've done the walkthrough. Um, okay. I'll, I'll give you an idea. This is pretty much uh, where we developed this system was during COVID. Um, and it came straight from what Open Door does. So it's the exact same process where it's like, hey, this is where we need to be. We do our inspection walkthrough. And then it's, hey, here's the firm number. Uh, okay. If I'll be honest with you. We do a lot of properties and on a monthly basis. And we, we don't like to poke people in the eyeballs or anything like that. More often than not, I'll, I'll probably talk to 50 people today and 48 of them, I'll tell them I'm not a good solution for you. But I do feel like I'm a good solution for you guys because this is exactly what I'm looking for. So um, we'll go out there and we'll we'll take care of it and we'll get it done quickly for you, okay? Okay. And by the way, what is your name? My name is Becky. Becky, Okay. And we also have the option to accept your offer or not, correct? Yes, of course. Yeah, so if we go, so the 95, when you sign the contract, that's like a done deal at the 95. Okay. Um, but if I come back and I say, hey, I need it to be, you know, 2000, you're not stuck. I mean, you're like, I'm not selling you my property for two grand. Okay, right. so then at that point in time, I have the option to either close at 95 or terminate the contract. So okay. the contract essentially always gives me the ability to close at 95,000. But if I try to renegotiate, y'all have to accept that and you have to sign a price amendment. When you, when you say if you have to renegotiate, what do you mean? Oh, renegotiate for- The price. Like if I, if I come back to you and I say, hey, I can't do 95, I've got to do less. The only way that that price changes is if you sign a document saying you're okay with the price changing. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yes, yeah, of course. Well, some people get confused about that. They're like, "Hey, there's a there's a thing in the contract about renegotiation." The other part of that is is like there have been times where the house something happened to the house when we're under contract. So, like for example, we've had houses burned down when we were under contract, you know, I mean, I don't want, I can't have you forcing me to buy a house for 95,000 that burned down. You know what I'm saying? So it's, okay. it's in there to protect both parties. Right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send that over to you this morning and uh, just let me know if you have any questions. This is the office line. So when you call in, you can ask for me, RJ Bates. I'm the owner. Um, or you can just talk to anybody on the floor. Uh, they can help you as well. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, RJ. Thank you, Becky. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The best part about this is, is that it's in the same freaking state as this dumbass broker. How <laughs> dare you ask for a price up front. If y'all haven't learned by now, I, uh, 
I really like putting a chip on my shoulder and just pissing myself off. It just makes me feel like I perform better. It's just my personality. 